Hey everyone, it's Jesse and I'm here with Miguel Ortega. Miguel, I know you're a big fan of RuPaul and the and the drag race. Do you have any uh yeah, no. any idea who's gonna win it? No. Who would you like to see win? Irapuato, Guanajuato, Mexico. Tell me what to do, what to do I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you Alright everybody, hello, it's yeah. Jesse And we are outside of, uh We got guys coming and going It's RuPaul's Drag Race Finals We're about to go check out what's going on Oh, can't do that. Can't do that. To know her is to love her. To love her is to just, you know, have sleepless nights by the telephone. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Lola and Kitty. Hi. Hi. You guys are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite performers. And uh, you're amazing. Really? You're my favorite interviewer. Like, Thank ever. you. <laughs> Any of your favorites do well tonight? Yes, Bianca kept it kept it solid. That's my girl right there. I love it. I love it. Love it. It's so good to see all the queens. It looks so beautiful. More beautiful than I've ever seen them on the entire show. Gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> Everything you want. Even Speak. as a straight man. Even as a straight man. Put your gender in a blender. There you go. <laughs> well, don't you agree that 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 we're all a little bit of a drag queen at heart? Absolutely. My biggest fashion influence is definitely B. Arthur and the Golden Girls. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm Linacia Sparks. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm from season five. And I'm Serena Chacha from Panama, season five as well. Oh, Jesse, we are joined by the legendary Bruce Valanche. Hello. Hi. Is this thing still happening, the RuPaul thing? Are they still shooting or are they done yet? No, it's still going on. Oh, it's still going, going on. on. Yeah, it's going on for so like ever. No. Drag queens into the night. Exactly. I mean, you know, drag queens into the night. It's not just a, 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 a cruise ship, you know, it's... <laughs> Welcome back to Fashion Forward Sweaters. We are here with a man that is bending all the rules in the sweater game right now. <laughs> Jealous? Man, no, you're a visionary. You're like the Kanye West of sweaters. You're like Steve Jobs. Oh my God! <laughs> Winner of the best tie award! Yes! yes. Here. Thank you. I'm glad I've never won anything in my life. Well, man, with that tie, you really, you cinched up the comp. Oh, it's undone. It's undone. Oh, my God. Hold on. How are you, doll? I'm killer. How are Good. you? You look amazing. Oh, thank you. I feel amazing. Is this for the Christian Coalition or some right-wing group? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Do you have an inspiration, someone that inspires you? Dolly Parton. Steel Magnolias, baby. Bigger the hair, the closer to God. A nice Ah, Thank you. Boo. Absolutely. Okay. You're like a boy drag queen. Okay, you know what? I really am. No, not at the moment. I just smoke my cigarette. Max, you will tell us about yourself and your earring choices. My earring choices. Let's see. I got them on Santa Alley for uh, ten dollars. I'm happy to be in your arms and to uh, uh, be holding on to you like a baby blanket. Oh well, you call it a baby blanket. I called it a big plush toy. Oh. with the stunning McCarthy sisters, guys. It is an honor to have you. Thank you. You guys were phenomenal, really successful actresses and authors in the 80s, and you guys still look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Feels good to be 60. 60? <laughs> if you guys are 60 and 60, the new 30, as far as I'm concerned. What was the highlight? Uh, yes. Hello, you look amazing. What was your highlight tonight? Watching my best friend be top three on the Wait, real quick. Okay, he's good. I think that was the lead singer of Rascal Flatts. 
Guys, how was the evening? How was the show? It's fantastic. Wonderful. Amazing. What is this ensemble? You look amazing. This is great. <laughs> was there any moment that you're like, what? Did that just happen? The entire thing. I can't believe we came tonight. Hello. <laughs> I can't believe I am here with you guys. We are crossing the street with fashion icons Devon Von Schmielberg and, and Latasha. That's right. Now, Latasha, you're looking amazing tonight, my girl. Thanks. What is your secret to like staying such a hot fox? Well, I'd say I've been around a long time and just <laughs> clamming on to the good life. Are you still with Warren Beatty? Absolutely. Amazing actress and comedian. You know her from Glee, Miss Jane Lynch. You're so funny. <laughs> I'm not getting pumped. <laughs> joking, right? I'm uh, not up from Glee. <laughs> You're not from Glee. You guys are funny. Well, you're not Jay Lynch. I know, it's shockingly similarity, but no. Oh, here, a legendary author. This is Donald, uh, Donald Harrison. He has written several science fiction novels. Donald, what is your favorite? Dragon's Galaxy? No. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Did you write Doctor Who? Yeah. Um, okay, hold up, so Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. He's, he's good, right? You look amazing. Oh my god, the style guru, the man known as Francis Khan. Francis, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm very good. I'm excited about your new line with Target. <laughs> uh, no comment, thank you. I'm here with Anderson Brooks. He's not videotaping. Oh, he is. Are you? Well then hi! <laughs> what I love about you, Lily, is that you know, you say it all without giving it away. And I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, can you do an interview for my show real quick? Can you do while we're walking? Yeah! Alright! We are with one of the busiest girls out there. Oh, what am I busy doing? <laughs> Man, you're always on the go, you know, from one thing to the next. From city to city. Sure. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but you're from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. No, I'm not. Okay, you're from Dayton, Ohio. Wrong again. You're from Grand Rapids. How many times are we going to guess? Well, let's get away from the guessing game. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Orange County. Oh! <laughs> what? Hi. We are here with an amazingly beautiful lady. Hi! I had a wonderful time. <laughs> here with two of the most original performers ever. Jules and Laganja. Jules and Laganja. Don't no worry. Okay. I'm just saying. Right now. This is the show where we celebrate loud and outrageous suits. Sponsored by Steve. Really? Harvey. And I got the loud and most outrageous suit here, right? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it wasn't loud enough. Kelly, can I have your autograph? Yes, you can. Oh, thank you so much. Kelly, Here, you may I have Bianca Del Rio. Yes. Straight from New York City. What are you doing? You not only overcame um, autism, you overcame Tourette's. Have you been hanging out with Laganja? Yes, Laganja gave me your full background. I'm just kidding. Now, a lot of people out there, believe it or not, don't even know about Barbie's addiction. That's true, it's very sad. Very sad. Well, how can we educate them? Um, well, we are Barbie's addiction. We are the stars of RuPaul's Tea Dance. It's one of RuPaul's web shows that she has going on, and we're about to film the second season very soon. A lot of people are buzzing about what, what's going to happen on the second season. Yes, God, it's going to be sickening, it's going to be high fashion, it's going to be heels and drama and cut. It's going to be over. Well, yeah, any thoughts going into season two? Um, it should be fun. Um, we get to finally showcase what we do, which is a lot different than not so much drag, not so much the muscle, we're the in-between. Yes, so. God. We're not queens, we're in-between. Where do you see the future of uh, drag racing going? Oh my gosh, honestly, at this point, with everyone that's, you know, been on the show, I think that the sky's the limit. They've had all different types of queens, from Club Kid to Glam to Pageant to everything, so who knows? We'll just have to see what more they have to come. The most fashionable man ever. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, man. How did you guys come up with this? Unbelievable. 
Well, I'm actually a fashion designer, and uh, my husband, he choreographed the show tonight, so yeah. we're in my collection for this year. Yeah. yeah, this is his stuff. Yeah. When does the work start going into uh, preparing the choreography for this? We, we didn't have a lot of time. We, we literally started on Sunday, and Tuesday, like two days. Yeah. That's crazy. It was, it was quite a... Because uh, it looks like, you know, you guys spent a month, like, of hardcore rehearsals. Yeah, no, not... Not, not that much. We just hired the best, you know, and the guys were great, and it was fun. The final question. You have such an amazing outfit. What are your thoughts on the news that they are going to make a, a fourth Matrix movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in the fourth one. <laughs> You're going to design the fourth one. I want to design. I think so. Yeah. Put it out in the That's universe. Yeah. yeah, I think, look, if you, come on, Matrix 4, you need a costume designer. Here this I makes am. sense. Like yeah, yeah. You should watch us, like, sashay away and, like, get us on tape, like, shaking around. Ready? Let's do it. All right, bitch. Hold on. Come on. Come on.